Okay guys, we're gonna show you, uh, well, I have to fix my water tank. So remember, in order to be sustainable in this world, you gotta have your, your own water. And sometimes, well, it takes a lot to keep it all going. So we're gonna replace the liner in this tank. This tank's a 30,000 gallon tank, so. And we ran out of water one time with the tank. And what happened was we put water in the tank because we ran out, but the top has a sealed cover and we didn't tighten it down and it got a huge belly in the middle and it broke the roof and it caved in and you can see where it bent right here. But we're emptying all the water out of here and we're gonna put a brand new liner in this tank with another roof on top. So what a job. First gotta take out all of the, and this, you know, this is 17 years old inside here. And this is a food grade liner. And they had a custom make this liner for this size of a tank. But you can see this is a big mud that's 16 feet tall. So just to show you, I mean, <laughs> you wanna be sustainable? That's fine, look. You wanna be sustainable? Those are solar panels. And of course, you buy them, and you have batteries, everything else, and you have to maintain things. You're your own power company now, right? You're your own water company now. And that means that you're gonna to have to learn about these systems. If not, it may not be as good as the system that you were using before, which was given to you, right? From the county giving you water or from the county giving you electricity. So we've made ourselves as sustainable as we can, of course, with food everywhere, as you can see, bananas, coconut trees, lychee trees back there. Every tree you see, guava trees, papayas, every tree you see here is a food tree. Avocados, sugarcane. So Hawaii is one of those places where you can catch your own water, right? You can make your own power because you have a lot of the power of the sun. You can see there's the, the ocean right there. And that tree just grew by itself. It was a seed that somebody threw, probably me. And that big tree over there behind the palm tree, that's an avocado tree, just grew on its own from a seed. And you can see, look at the, those fat avocados in this tree right here. Look at them all. Okay, so anyways, just wanted to show you doing maintenance on your property, okay, if you're sustainable, is sometimes a lot of work. So if you don't build these things correctly, and you have to learn about, in order to prime this pipe that goes to the house, this is the water line that comes in and pulls water, you have to prime this with water, fill all the water up into the pumps, okay, you have pressure tanks, and so it's a big system to be able to, to have well, to say that you're your own co you know, water company, the Kassar Water Company, right? Well, Kassar Water Company has to fix things himself. Kassar Power Company has to fix things themselves. So I got these guys, they're professionals, and they're gonna, they're gonna put, they're from Hilo called Waterworks, and they're gonna put uh, a new liner in. And we're gonna put, like I said, a new roof on this thing. But look at how big that mother is. And we used to use this for the retreats, of course. And we have 15, 18 people taking showers, so you need a big tank. Okay, there we go. Beautiful day. And we'll uh, do some videos on seeing how these guys are going to put this thing in. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here's, here's the three pros right here that are tackling this pretty clean job. <laughs> and these are the guys from Waterworks in Hilo. And let's see what they've been doing here. All right, you cut the bottom out. Oh, you got the liner in too already? Yeah. Shoot. Okay, and they got the top on. Was that liner hard to get in? Not bad. Not bad? Needle yeah. Now you gotta, if I was doing this, what technique do you use to be able to unfold this thing and get it in there, right? right? <laughs> okay, there we go. Big tank. Okay. 
Okay, these guys got the liner out now. Let's go check out and see how they're gonna lift it up. But they had to drain half this tank and this thing was flooded all this morning really good. Showed you a little bit, but <laughs> let's go up on this ladder, see if it's not gonna fall. All right, let's check it out here. And like I said, this is a 16 foot or 18 foot tank. Tall mother. So be careful, right? Okay. Big tank, man. You can't see when you get the white. The white comes out, huh? Oh, yeah. Blinds you, yeah. Really blinds you. Lambert, you're looking small from up here. <laughs> it's a tall wall. Okay, so this is a huge liner, huh? So here's the top they put on. Oh yeah, use your help. <laughs> okay. See the technique and how they lift it. I was gonna say it's the guy who folds that helps you out, right? Have you watched these guys make these? Oh, we make them. Oh, you make them? So have you, 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 no, but have you watched anybody make these like this? Or do you make them yourself? Oh, we make them ourselves. Oh, no shit, really? We make them, yeah. The catchment tanks, the cover support. No, I mean, but you guys personally make the, you yeah, guys put them? in six foot flat pieces of vinyl at 500 yards. Oh, and that's what you're talking about, the microwave? And then we weld them together, we cut them, we weld them all together at a molecular level. That's why the liners are so expensive. <laughs> them. Yeah, and you gotta do it right, you know? Yeah. You get a leak, it's not so good. <laughs> yeah. well, that's the, the upside about having us install it is that you have the warranty prorated 10% for 10 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no wind down there. hit her in the head. <laughs> that was a better shot. <laughs> Someone's cooking something, smell that? Yeah, yeah it's so good. That's from you. <sighs> I'm gonna start right, right from you, go yeah. this way. Yeah. Okay. Wait, wait. Okay, let's watch this technique here.
It's like fighting somebody in a sauna down there. He's doing the improved, <laughs> improved, improved clinch knot there. Good bass fishing knot. <laughs> you know what? You're gonna have to come closer to him because he's gonna be happy for you. Yeah, you gotta come closer to me. Oh. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's gonna be so heavy it might pull my ass to the side of the tank. Oh, yeah. See white boy go flying. Right. Hurry up! <laughs> Didn't work. Yeah, see, that look at his, too thick. Look at his shitty knot that he did. <laughs> oh. Do you have the airframe one? Yeah. It'll be hard if you put them over here, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I'm on a pretty. This is as good as it's gonna get. It. That's a super okay, tall you one, have huh? The yeah. I have three. Okay. So, there's shorter ladder on this one. You can put one clam and then throw back the rope. I tie this side so we can pull that side off. Shoot. Lambert, how long have you been installing these? This twelve plus years. Twelve years, yeah, wow. You just you just learned along the way? Yeah. It's not like I go to school to learn. No, yeah. no, no. And the pumps get complicated, all the plumbing and all those pieces, you do all that too? No, not not the pumps. Yeah, because that gets complicated too. Pressure pumps, scallop pumps, you know, on demand. Yeah. Valve shut offs, priming. <laughs> and whoever buys the house better learn that. If not, you're not gonna even be able to prime your own pump. Oh, so I see you just put one clamp at a time, go around the whole thing? Yeah. Like an inside out condom, huh? <laughs> inside out condom. <laughs> <laughs> it's the largest condom in the world. <laughs> Just round, and they got like a little belly on them. Okay, we'll show one more section here going up.
looks like a huge shower curtain. It's big. Okay, pretty snaz. That's how they do it, and just go all the way around there, one one at a time. Okay, that's how you get out with the ladder. There we go. Okay, now they're wrapping the the rim with a wire to hold the the liner in place. So you can see the old liners right there. And that's gonna go around the whole perimeter. Can we go higher a little bit? One, two, three. Okay. Okay, there they go. Want me to hold on to that piece or? Got that pole and the pole in the middle sticking. That pole, the one in the middle. Yeah, there you go. Okay. This goes behind the pipes, right? Oh, I guess you blew it up there. Yeah. Pull that one? Yeah, let him come this side and hold. Is there a ladder on that side? Yeah. Okay. There you go, you want this one? You want me to keep holding this one or? You gotta go behind the fight here. You want me to pull that? <laughs> I'll hold this over. I'll hold the ladder over here.
Okay, we're close to the last step. We're putting the water in now. And you can see we just got this 4,000 gallon water truck here. Island Catchment Company. Nice truck. And so this is how you pump the water in. It's got 4,000 gallons in here. And just pump her in. <laughs> Let's take a look. Let's go up here. That's a cacao plant right there. That's another one. And there we go. Pumping the water in. So that's 4,000 gallons in that big truck. So it's only going to fill this thing up just a little bit. So it's supposed to rain in the next couple of days. See some rain clouds back there. So usually in about three really good days of raining, we catch the rain from the roof right here, all these roofs. We go down those pipes right there. And this is what you got. It goes right into here. And that then goes through pressurized pumps. And you got water in the house. Okay, these ladders are sketchy. <laughs> Slippery with thongs on. Yep, muddy toes. Okay, there we go. And then the last phase we got to put on is the uh, the cover on top. And then we're good. So they got to tighten everything up, make sure the liner sits in perfect because once that thing gets filled at the top, and it's got maximum pressure on that tank and on the liner, and it's not supposed to be creased at all. It's supposed to be really flat as you can get it. And here's the top right here. <clears throat> so this top water goes through just a little bit, but then we're going to put another top on which is made out of this material right here. And this material is going to go on top of that. You can see it's got the crisscrossing of fibers. And so none of the birds or rats or anything can get inside the tank. So there we go. What a job today. These guys know what they're doing. That's for sure. We tried to help, but they don't need our help. <laughs> OK, there we go. Just to keep your house sustainable, it's not easy because everybody thinks that they can go ahead. Remember, we catch our own water, make our own power, and then you have to service all these things to make sure they run. So here, let me just walk over to the, the house here. And so I'll show you underneath the house so where it goes next. So we had to, to build this whole area here too, and I repiped everything. So I have like a six stage RO system through here. So the water comes in right through here, okay? And it goes in, gets pulled in through the pump, which we'll go in and see. And then once it goes through the pump, it goes through the pressure tanks, and then it comes through this UV light, and then it comes down and goes out into the house. So everything's all pressured up. We'll have to prime the pumps. And we custom built these here. You can see what one of the filters looks like right there. I just changed some of them out. And then uh, that's the pressure gauges on each side. This is the relief valve. Remember, we put this whole thing together. Had to take it apart like five times just to redesign it. And I just put in these brand new water tanks right here, as you can see. And then way in the back over there, those are where the pumps are. 
but there's some water down here, so I wonder if it's leaking somehow. We'll have to check it out. But these are all the tanks. I traded all these tanks. These tanks all went bad on me. They were about uh, 11 years old or so. And so I just put in all brand new ones in here. So the pumps go ahead and pressurize this tank, and it has a bladder in there. And you make this tank here two pounds less than when the pump shuts off in the back. So if it's 40 pounds in the back, then you'd put 38 in these pressure tanks. It's got to be pretty much perfect. <clears throat> if not, it won't work. And then so the bladder fills up with pressure. It shuts off at 40 pounds over at the pump. And it's going to go less than two pounds, so the pump will turn on again when the water runs out of the tanks under pressure. So it's pretty, uh, I guess, uh, complex. But once you learn how it all works, then it's simple like anything else. So, okay, there we go. Just wanted to show you this. And this is how we do our hot water here. You can see it's on 120 degrees right there. And so these are on demand. This is called the Paloma tankless water heater. And these work really good. So you don't have a hot water heater that's constantly trying to heat up your water all the time because you want it hot instantly. It takes about, about a minute or so to get your shower to get hot water. So those work really good in Hawaii, and everybody should have tankless water heaters like that because water heaters, I've replaced so many of those things, they rust out, and it's just a waste because the propane or the gas has to keep it hot all the time, waiting for you to want to use it. Okay, there we go. What a job. Woohoo! And see how this thing all has to be custom fitted around and it's not easy work working out in the sun the sun just beats on you especially on the equator even though the air right now is only about 82 probably when you're in the sun it feels like a hundred the sun's just super strong and you can see look at all those aerosols I'll zero in on them a little bit. Yep, they spray those here in Hawaii too. Okay. And then later on, we gotta hook up these pipes right here. And so this is the feed line right here. This comes, this water right here that's in here, this comes from the roof. And it goes into here, it goes into the tank. And then this one here pulls it out right here. So this one goes in also into the tank. This one goes into the tank. And then this one here pulls water out of the tank and it takes it down to the house, to the pumps like I just showed you over there. So you can see this is a pretty complex system. Let's see if Nanu wants to come out. What's up, Dua? What's up, Dua? There she comes with her daughter <laughs> snorting away. What's up, Bubbas? What's up, Bubbas? Look at how big she is. She's like 400 pounds. And her daughter, she's like 350. What's up, Bubba? What's up, Bubba? <laughs> What's up? What's up, Dua? What's up, Dua? You can see this one here. They use that long schnout to rut the ground up. And so that thing's like a rototiller right there. And she's got big fangs on each side of her teeth. So she's pretty hard to hurt and her skin as you can see she's usually got real thick hair but she's just growing it back right now they lose it every year and so they're just getting a new mane but otherwise that top part of the mane there is about 10 inches thick it looks like a horse's mane on top so what a what a machine their skin you can't even puncture it so dogs can bite these animals doesn't hurt them at all not really 
But if they bite the animal, they'll break, bite its leg, they'll just break its leg right off. Okay. Okay, that's what you get for one of those big trucks. It's probably three feet of water, maybe. Okay, there we go. Now I'm just fitting on the tops. Yeah, plus you got that other... Got that other liner under there, makes it thicker too. Okay, here's the end of the job here. So we got the upper cover on now. And now I just got to figure out uh, how to prime the pumps. We can hear them going and we'll see how everything works here. You can hear the pump. Got a little pressure going here. We'll see if it catches on. Get the air out of here. to prime that pump. We'll see. Okay, I'm gonna have to look into this. Here we go, now it's my turn figure out how to get the, the liners on, the water's in, and now we just have to make sure the pumps are working. Okay, here we go.